guys, my name is Meg and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how you can cook a whole frozen chicken in your Instant Pot in just about 70 minutes. It's crazy. So I have here a whole frozen chicken. This is a local pasture raised chicken and we love buying local and grass fed whenever we possibly can. And so I'm super excited to cook up this chicken in our Instant Pot for us to enjoy for dinner tonight. I just pulled this out of the freezer and I love that I don't have to wait for this chicken to thaw because I personally am terrible at remembering to thaw meat out before I need it. So having an Instant Pot has saved me so many times because you can cook frozen meat in it and it takes like no time at all and so I absolutely love this recipe. It just blows my mind how it goes from a frozen chunk of meat to totally cooked and falling off the bones when it's done and I try to cut it up it just like the bones just pull like out of the meat you can't even really cut it because it's just so tender and juicy so hopefully this is helpful for you guys as well and let's get right into this recipe so all you're gonna need is a whole frozen chicken I also have coconut oil here but you you can also use olive oil I'm going to season it with just salt and pepper I have some pink Himalayan salt here. Normally I would put more seasonings on this, like paprika or oregano or parsley. I would get all fancy with it, but my husband is on the GAPS diet right now. He's in one of the early stages of the GAPS diet, so right now he can only have salt and pepper. And then I have a cup of water, and that's all you really need. It's crazy. So first what you're going to do is take the chicken out of the packaging and just set it right in your Instant Pot. And then I'm going to take this coconut oil and it's already melted. You want it to be a liquid oil and I'm just going to pour it over the chicken and get it all coated so that the spices stick to it. I'm going to make sure I get it on the front and the back and then I'm going to take my salt and pepper and sprinkle it over the chicken on the front and the back. And then once you're done with that just leave the chicken sitting in there and then I'm going to take my cup of water and pour it down into the Instant Pot, being careful not to pour it over the chicken because I don't want to disturb the spices that I put on there, but I just want the water to sit at the bottom. So I'm going to pour it next to the chicken. And then we're going to set our Instant Pot to pressure cooking on high. And now the times for cooking are different for if you have a six quart Instant Pot or an eight quart, and also the size of your chicken. So I will write down in the description box all the different variations because it's gonna depend a lot on those two things. But for mine, I have a six quart Instant Pot and I have about a five pound chicken. So I'm gonna set the timer on my Instant Pot for 70 minutes. And then you're just gonna wait the 70 minutes until it's cooked. And now you want to make sure that you do a natural release, not a quick release. So you just want to let all the pressure that's built up in there release on its own, not open the ceiling vent. It'll probably take about 15 to 20 minutes. And I usually set my Instant Pot on the keep warm setting so that when it's done cooking, it just keeps it warm and I don't have to worry about it starting to go bad or anything. If I'm cooking this in the morning, I can just forget about it and it'll keep it warm and at the proper temperature to not spoil or anything. So then I just don't have to worry about it until we're ready to eat. And then once all the pressure is released, just open up your lid and you have a nice, juicy, tender chicken and it's just amazing that it's cooked in that amount of time. And typically what I do after this is I take the chicken out and I pull all the meat off the bones or I gather the bones back up after we've eaten the meat off the bones. One way or another I gather all the bones back up afterwards and I put them back in the Instant Pot and you can add any bones that you saved in your freezer for making stock. Usually I'm completely out of bones so I just make a little batch with the chicken bones right away and I'll make a batch of bone broth. And so this is just a great way to make sure you're using every single part of the chicken and using it to its full potential and you don't want to waste that bone broth. It's some amazing gut healing and immune boosting stuff. I will link my video on how I make bone broth in my Instant Pot and then also the one about how I pressure can it so that you can store it at room temperature. But now you are all done and you have this wonderful chicken that's ready to eat so I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and it was helpful. It has definitely been a lifesaver for me since I'm not great at planning ahead with getting meat out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!